It looks like it may be the actual Russia scandal. The 2010 Uranium One deal where the Obama administration approved, for reasons no one will explain at this point, giving a Russian firm control over about 20% of the U.S. uranium reserve. The current president had this to say today about that. So I will say this, uh, the uranium situation with Russia getting uranium, uh, they better look into that. That is looking like a very serious situation. John Solomon of The Hill has been all over the story since the beginning. Today, he's reporting that Bill Clinton sought permission to meet with a Russian nuclear official while the Obama administration was reaching a final decision on the deal. John Solomon, as we just said, wrote that piece, and he joins us now. So, John, um, this is actually a remarkable fact, if true, and it looks like you proved it in your piece, that the former president, Bill Clinton, whose wife was then secretary of state, right. sought to meet with an official from the very company trying to buy uranium one. Yeah, absolutely. So, and the timing is really interesting because Hillary had just come back from Moscow, set a lot of business things in motion between the United States and Russia, and Bill Clinton's coming right through her jet stream and, and trying to figure out going out. He gets a $500,000 check while he's there, and he's uh, at least seeking permission to meet with some people who had a direct interest in what his wife was doing. Now, they say at the end they decided not to do the meetings, but uh, it does raise a new, a new question about but who he knew requested what. it. He requested permission from the State Department. Now, who wanted to meet with him? Who knows who requested uh, what? But we we do know that he asked for permission to go see these people. What would be the innocent explanation for why Bill Clinton would want to meet with yeah. with a nuclear... With Russia, there's nothing that's innocent, right? Somebody has a motive. And so it could be the Russian officials wanted to follow up on the Hillary Clinton visit and see what the husband knew, right? The former president could right. carry some water. Or it could be he was looking to do something over in Russia to do something well, well for, him, for his family. And we talked to somebody, someone very close, a close friend of the president, who said he was involved in conversations in 2010 before the president went over to Russia and that they were talking about doing something, getting some business relationships going that would benefit a family business that they were talking about. And I don't know any more than that right now. But that, you know, that may be a possible motive for the trip. So if the Russians wanted to talk to the husband of the Secretary of State, right. and if business deals were germinating at this time between the U.S. and Russia, it sounds like the Russians really had their eye on Hillary Clinton. They did. There's not any doubt about that. And uh, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to continue to report out some very interesting details about how much the U.S. government knew about Russia's intentions towards the Clintons and what they were trying to do to influence them. A lot more evidence than what's in the public domain right now. You don't have to believe that there's hidden information, though clearly there is, and you're uncovering it. But even that aside, the fact that the Obama administration gave control over 20 percent of our uranium to the Russians, was there ever a policy rationale for that? Well, at the time, they said there was no national security issue, if you remember, in 2015. Right. And the argument was, listen, if we don't buy the Russians' uranium, they'll go sell it on the black market or they'll give it to Iran or North Korea, something we don't want. But we learned this week that this whole story started on Monday with us, where we reported that the uh, FBI in 2009 proved that Rosatom, its 10X arm here in the United States, was making bribery, kickbacks, uh, extortion, and money laundering right here in the United States while the Clintons were and uh, Obama administration were approving this deal. So there was a good reason reason not to give Rosatom the uh, uh, uranium. They were engaged in criminal activity. So you just hinted at something coming up that you believe the efforts to suborn Hillary, to influence Hillary by the Russians were broader than we know. Yeah, there's no doubt. There are multiple efforts to try to win influence, to try to gain access to her. Now, listen, she's a secretary of state. That's not surprising. But I think we'll get some detail and some specifics about how they tried to do it. Some of the people who made the overtures are going to be pretty famous when you find out who they are. But there was a concerted effort to focus on Hillary Clinton in 09 and 10. And there's a good reason. She was the face of the reboot, the reset with Russia, right? They wanted to know what the heck she was doing. And uh, they, they put some influence uh, efforts in the underway. And Sarah, we, we spent the last 11 months hearing from Democrats that there's no greater peril to the United States right. than Russia. It's pretty amazing. John, thank you for all your reporting on this. Thanks, Doctor. Appreciate it.